EXO is one of K-pop's biggest boy groups in history, winning Album of the Year five consecutive times at the Mamas, exceeding 16 million cumulative album sales to date, selling out their first headlining tour in 1.47 seconds, and becoming only the second SM Entertainment artist to achieve over 100 music show awards. EXO remains a force to be reckoned with within K-pop. What's up, friends? I'm Jonathan Miller, and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music, where we help each other become better artists. A quick personal note before we get into things, skip here if you don't care. So if you're watching this video, it means that I'm away for a little while with my family. As some of you know, my dad lost his eight-year battle with cancer back in December 2022, and since he always loved the summer sun, we've been waiting the last eight months or so to give him a proper goodbye with a big old party. So if you see me a little less on social media over the next week or so, or considering everyone and their sister is having a comeback, including Taylor Swift, or you're wondering why my videos are a little late, that's why. So much incredible music is coming in July, so please have a little bit of patience with me if I'm not on things quite as quickly as I would like to be. I hope Summer is treating all of you kindly, and I recognize that this video might not be the full-length, in-depth, deep dive that you were probably hoping for for EXO, but I hope that there's enough goodies in here that it holds you over until that time. Thank you for listening to my little message. Now, in honor of EXO's seventh studio album, Exist, if you don't know who EXO is or you want to know a little bit more about them, here are five reasons to check out the incredible hitmakers, EXO. K-pop in 2012 looked quite a bit different than it does today. The most obvious difference being it's the exact year where K-pop saw a gigantic upturn in its global expansion. And EXO had a significant role in that. Toward the end of 2011, SM announced that it would be debuting its new boy group, the first since Shiny in 2008. At this time, SM was on a bit of a hot streak. Super Junior, TVXQ, Girls Generation, BOA, Shiny, FX and more were dominating the charts and gaining international recognition. Do the call. Selling out Madison Square Garden for SM Town, being innovative with traditional song structures, dominating Japan with dome performances and large-scale tours, performing on late-night American TV for the first time, grabbing the attention of Latin America and Europe, SM Entertainment artists were slowly but surely putting K-pop on the map. So everyone was intrigued when SM said it would continue to push boundaries by its upcoming 12-member boy group being split from the start into two subunits performing music in Korean and Mandarin Chinese. As I previously explained in my deep dive on Shiny, in how SM's first boy group HOT is largely the reason that K-pop groups even get to debut in China, this announcement proved to be a significant development in Korea's growing musical relationship with China. After dropping two pre-release bangers, <clears throat> I mean, songs, History and What is Love, EXO officially debuted on April 8th, 2012. XOK focused on Korean language versions of their songs, consisted of Suho, Baekhyun, Tanyo, Dio, Kai, and Sehun. XOM focused on the Mandarin language versions and Chinese promotions, consisted of Jiumin, Lei, Chen, Chris, Luhan, and Tao. Coming from the word exoplanet, this supercharged, superpower containing force from space crash landed on Earth with their high budget debut track and music video, Mama. A song about a protagonist who sees the world as cold and heartless and wanting to encourage others to be kinder to each other. You know, like an alien feeling alone in a strange world. They really went hard for the space theme and we ate it all up. Also, fun fact, mama means something like your majesty in Korean or generally refers to like a highly respected woman. So the song is basically an epic call to mama to guide the world back to a place of humanity and decency. Mama helped EXO win Best New Asian Group at the 2012 Mnet Asian Music Awards, AKA the Mamas. Their first full album, XOXO, and its repackaged album, Growl, dropped summer 2013 and cumulatively sold over 1 million copies, making EXO the first Korean artist to have a million selling album in Korea in 12 years. They won several awards that year, like Song of the Year at the Melon Music Awards and Album of the Year at the Mamas. As K-pop continued to grow internationally following Psy's viral hit Gangnam Style, EXO continued to break barriers. And you can break barriers with DistroKid! DistroKid is one of the top music distribution platforms on the market, helping artists like you and me get our music up on platforms like Spotify, 
Apple Music, Tidal, and even TikTok. One of the things that sets DistroKid apart from other music distributors is their whole library of additional features to help you manage, grow, and promote your music depending on which membership plan you decide is right for you. One of these invaluable tools that you can gain access to is mini videos. Mini videos are kind of like the name implies, small, social media friendly videos that you can use to promote your latest song drop. Mini videos are free and customizable so you can find one that fits your artistic aesthetic. Simply select the song you want to promote, type what you want your announcement to be like available now or new song out now, pick when you'd like the song to start playing, and and then hit generate mini video. Then you'll be able to share the link directly or download it and then upload it to your favorite platform giving you an instant boost in music promotion. Use my special VIP link to save yourself 7% on your first year's membership with DistroKid. Link is in the description. Overdose hit number 129 on the Billboard 200, which made EXO the highest charting boy group at the time. Remember, streaming was just barely starting to become popular at this time. And Billboard's album equivalent metric was still being tinkered with. As especially as the music industry as a whole was just rapidly evolving. Overdose was the best-selling release of 2014 in South Korea, and EXO was Japan's best-selling K-pop artist of the year. Their first tour sold out in 1.47 seconds, breaking the record for the quickest concert sellout in South Korea. 2014 and 2015 is where 12 members became 9, through various lawsuits and trouble that left EXO without Tao, Luhan, and Chris. Tao and Luhan sued SM Entertainment for mistreatment and health issues. Chris sued SM Entertainment for similar reasons and also cited unfair profit distribution. He was also years later convicted of rape and sentenced to 13 years in Chinese prison. Fortunately, EXO would survive these issues as nine members and continue to be one of the biggest boy groups South Korea has ever seen. If I were to list every achievement and accolade that EXO has gotten, we would be here for hours. They are very decorated artists. So I acknowledge I'm probably going to miss a few. Yes, even that specific one that you're so surprised I didn't mention. So please help me in the comments, XOLs, and share your favorite accomplishments. This video may be seen by brand new fans of EXO wanting to know more about them. So let's as a community help each other out and write one of your favorite EXO memories or achievements in the comments. So that way new fans can read them and find out more. And if you are new to EXO, you may be wondering why I said that. And uh, well, here's just a snapshot of what they've done since Overdose. EXO's song Call Me Baby made EXO only the second K-pop act to ever chart on the Canadian Hot 100 besides Psy. They were the first Korean artist to hold a dome concert in South Korea in 2015 after the Koltuk Sky Dome replaced the Dongdaemun Baseball Stadium, which now has a max capacity of over 25,000 people. Their debut Japanese single, Love Me Right, was the best-selling debut single by a K-pop artist in Japan. Their second Japanese single, Coming Over, sold even more and got them their second platinum certificate by the RIAJ. Countdown, their first Japanese album, made EXO the first non-Japanese act to have both their debut single and debut album reach number one on the Oricon charts, which are Japan's equivalent of the Billboard charts here in the US. In December 2015, EXO ranked number seven in the top 10 pop culture leaders of 2015. EXO's fourth studio album, The War, reached 807, 235 pre-orders and sold over 1.6 million copies. It also earned them a Guinness World Record for most Tae songs at the Mamas. Its title track, Power, became the first K-pop song played at the Dubai Fountain. Baekhyun performed the national anthem for the International Olympic Committee in 2018, while EXO as a group performed at the closing ceremonies of the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang. The Korean Mint Corporation produced commemorative medals for each member for their contributions to spreading Korean culture abroad. They also received a Prime Minister's Commendation in 2017 as well for this. As of this writing, they are sextuple million sellers, meaning six of their albums have sold over one million copies. They became the first Korean act to surpass 10 million cumulative album sales within South Korea alone. EXO's mega hit Love Shot stayed at number one for three weeks on Billboard's World Digital Song Sales chart and was nominated for Song of the Year at the Melon Music 
Republic Awards. While a few members were serving in the military, Obsession still was listed as one of the top 25 albums of 2019 by Billboard, don't Fight the Feeling, a special album recorded and released during the COVID-19 pandemic, became the fastest selling EXO album to pass a million copies, doing so in eight days. The album also topped the iTunes charts in 87 countries, something that the group has done several times. In 2018, EXO was also listed in the Guinness World Record books as being one of the top 20 most awarded artists globally with over 250 awards at that time. EXO as a group is truly something magnificent. It would be one thing if EXO was only successful as a group, but that's not the case with them. Individually, they are just as fantastic. So for the purposes of this video, here's a little bit about the currently active nine members. Suho is the leader of EXO and its original subunit XOK. Born and raised in Seoul, he was discovered by an SM casting director on the streets and officially became a trainee in 2006, where he trained for about six years. During that time, he also made a cameo appearance in super junior film Attack on the Pinup Boys. Suho is one of EXO's accomplished actors, starring in the Korean dub of Saving Santa and SM's musical School Oz. He also starred in the musical The Man Who Laughs and received a standing ovation from the audience. Releasing two successful solo albums, Suho became the first EXO member to win all three major music shows in Korea with his song Let's Love. His second mini album, Grey Suit, topped the iTunes charts in 33 countries and was certified platinum by the KMCA. Min is the leader of EXO subunit CBX, along alongside Chen and Baekhyun. Together, they performed a few OST songs and dropped two mini albums, both of which went number one in Korea and the top two on Billboard's World Albums chart. In Japan, XOCBX's special edition of their first mini album, Girls, sold out in less than an hour, making them the fastest selling K-pop group in Japan, beating their own record held as XO as a full group. It also was listed in the top 100 albums of 2017 in Japan. Born in Seoul, he auditioned for JYP, but didn't get in. Luckily, he placed second at SM Entertainment's Every Sing contest in 2008, becoming a trainee where he trained for four years. Making his acting debut in School Oz, he also starred in Korean web drama Falling for Challenge in 2015, which was the most watched watched web drama in South Korea at the time, reaching 20 million viewers in 17 days. He also starred in Sondal, The Man Who Sells the River, and dropped his solo mini album Brand New in 2022, which also reached number one in 33 countries on iTunes. Lay's official status as an EXO member might be a little confusing to new fans, as he officially left SM Entertainment in 2022. However, he's said to still be a full member of EXO as of this filming, so we're gonna include Include the Chinese superstar today. Although real talk, Lei deserves his own video one day like we did for Jackson Wang. Born and raised in Hunan, China, Lei's first acting role came at age six in the Chinese TV drama We the People in 1998. He became a local star when he won third on Star Academy, a TV show produced in Hunan. In 2008, he auditioned in Wuhan for SM's global casting call and passed. Training for roughly four years before debuting with EXO, Lei briefly appeared in Chinese 2011 world tour as the dance replacement for Jong Hyun when he sustained an ankle injury and couldn't participate. Since debuting, Lei has had an impeccable career around the globe, starring in several variety shows, TV dramas, comedic and critically acclaimed films, Lei has ranked in the top 20 of Forbes China Celebrity 100 list for five years. His TV series OST song Monodrama broke several records by staying at number one on Yin Yue Tai's V chart for five consecutive weeks. He starred in Indian Chinese action film Kung Fu Yoga alongside Jackie Chan, which grossed 245.2 million US dollars. It became the highest grossing comedy film in China at the time. He received critical acclaim for his directorial debut film The Island in 2018. Lei's solo music career has been incredible as he has written, composed, and even translated his own music consisting of four studio albums and five EPs. His debut mini-album Lose Control 
stayed at number one on Billboard's China V chart for six consecutive weeks. His album, Lay to Sheep, reached gold, double gold, triple gold, platinum, and diamond status in nine hours and 11 minutes on QQ Music, which he did again with his winter special gift album in December. Nimana is still the highest charting Mandopop album on the Billboard 200. Lay released an autobiography, which sold 68,537 copies in the first 24 minutes of pre-sales and had has since sold over 400,000 copies. He performed at Lollapalooza in the US with DJ Alan Walker. Lei has attended the Met Gala and the Grammy Awards as the only Chinese celebrity invited. He spoke at Harvard Business School discussing Asian culture and M-pop music. There are not one, not two, but three wax figures of him at Madame Tussauds across Asia. In October 2020, he established Chromosome Entertainment Group, his own entertainment agency. You can say a lot about the EXO members, but you can't call them flops. Hyun is another member of EXO CBX and also the leader of SM Supergroup Super M. Born in Butan, South Korea, Hyun started training to become an artist long before joining SM. He was in a local band and learned to play the piano from Kim Hyun Woo. He was spotted by an SM agent while studying for his entrance exams and finally joined the company in 2011, only officially training for about seven to eight months. Hyun was an MC on Korean music show Inkikayo and starred in the Korean adaptation of Singing in the Rain. He received the New Star Award at the 2016 SBS Drama Awards. Rain helped him to become the first SM artist to achieve a perfect all kill on Korean music charts in the years of 2016 and 2017 respectively. As I previously mentioned, he performed the national anthem for the IOC and President Moon Jae-in for the Winter Olympics. City Lights, Baekhyun's first mini album broke the record for best-selling album by a South Korean act on the Gaon music chart when it sold over 550,000 copies in 2019. It went on to become the best-selling solo album in South Korea of the entire 2010s decade. His second solo album received over 732,000 pre-orders and then sold over a million copies, the first album by a soloist to do so in South Korea in 19 years. Delight helped Baekhyun to win his third consecutive MAMA Award for Best Male Artist. Kai was born in Suncheon, South Korea. He and Baekhyun, aside from EXO, would go on to debut in Super M, which would become the first Asian act in history to debut on the Billboard 200. Kai, who was trained in ballet and jazz before, at the encouragement of his father, won SM's Youth Best Contest. After training for four years, he officially debuted with EXO. Kai was part of Unique Unit alongside fellow EXO member at the time, Luhan. He was also also a part of SM The Performance too. All three of Kai's solo albums have reached the top three in Korea, with Rover hitting number one. He won Best Male Artist and the People's Choice Award at the Asian Pop Music Awards in 2021. His self-titled debut went number one on iTunes in 56 countries and stayed at number one on the worldwide chart for three consecutive days. Kai has also acted in various projects, including web drama Choco Bank, Andante, and Japanese drama Spring Has Come. He also became the first male representative for Bobby Brown Cosmetics in 2020. Ken is one of EXO's strongest vocalists, participating in several OST songs. Born in Daejeon, South Korea, Ken joined SM at 19 years old, and just a few months later, he was announced as a member of XOM. Part of SM The Ballad, Ten sang the Chinese version of the group's single Breath. One of his OST songs, The Best Luck, was awarded Best OST by a male artist at the 5th So Loved Awards. Ten's OST song, Every Time, debuted at number one on Gaon, now Circle's weekly digital chart. In addition to his heavenly vocals, Ken has written songs too, including one of EXO's biggest hits, Love Shot. His first solo album, April A Flower, reached number two in Korea. His second EP, Dear My Dear, topped iTunes in 36 countries. He also did it again in 32 countries when he dropped his mini album, Last Scene. Remember how I said EXO topped iTunes a lot? See? Wasn't lying. Ho Kyung Soo, also known as Dio, grew up in the Gyeonggi province of South Korea and began singing in elementary school. Participating in several competitions, Dio became a trainee for SM Entertainment in high school and didn't tell any of his friends. After two years of training, he graduated high school and joined EXO. Surprise, friends! Dio's solo album Empathy released in 2021 and was certified platinum by the KMCA, also contributing to several OST songs in his career, like Scream, which sold nearly 80,000 
thousand copies, Kyung Soo's acting career is where he has really shined over the years. Hart premiered at the 2014 Toronto International Film Festival in Canada. His supporting role in 2014's SBS drama It's Okay That's Love earned him a nomination of Best New Actor at the 51st Pek Song Awards. He starred in Be Positive, which went on to become Korea's most watched web drama of all time. In 2017, he played the leading role in 100 Days My Prince, becoming the fifth highest rated Korean drama in cable television history, and was so popular it even became the first CJ ENM drama to be broadcast in Japan on NHK General TV. Kung Soo also received the Top Excellence Award for Actors at the 2022 KBS Drama Awards for his performance in Bad Prosecutor. Dio has won so many awards for his work in music, TV, and film that he still remains as one of the most decorated members of EXO. Tanyo was raised in Seoul, South Korea and is an avid rock music fan, even being inspired to pursue music as a kid after watching School of Rock. Originally hoping to become a model, he won second place at the 2008 Smart Model Contest before being street cast by SM Entertainment. During his time as a trainee, he appeared in various music videos like TVXQ's Ha 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 song and the iconic Genie by Girls' Generation and TTS subunit track Twinkle. Tanyol has written or co-written numerous songs for EXO and its members such as Lightsaber, Coco Bop, Love Shot, and more, and joined Tanache, Far East Movement, and Marshmallow for the track Freel Love. Tanyol has acted in various projects like Salut d'Amour, Missing Nine, and Memories of the Alhambra. XOSC, another subunit, saw Tanyol and Sehun debuting in 2019 with their first mini album, What a Life. They got their first music show win on Music Bank 11 days after debuting. XOSC became the best selling subunit in Korea in 2020 when their first full album, One billion views exceeded 500,000 copies, putting their cumulative total at over 900,000 units sold. Together, Tanyol and Sehun even won a Golden Disc Award in 2019 for What a Life. Finally, Sehun, the other half of XOSC and youngest member of EXO, was born and raised in Seoul, South Korea. Sehun has told the story many times, but his parents raised him not to talk to strangers. So when he was outside eating lunch with his friends and an SM scout tried to hand him a business card, he literally ran away for 30 minutes trying to get away. So on the one hand, that adult should not have pursued a child like that. But on the other hand, we got Sehun in XO. I don't know how I feel about that. Sehun won the Huevo Star Award at the 5th Gaon Chart K-Pop Awards in 2016. In 2017, he won Most Popular Artist at the Yinyue Tai's V-Chart Awards. As an ambassador and spokesperson, Sehun has collaborated with multiple brands. After becoming the spokesperson for Dr. Jart Plus in China, they achieved the highest sales ever during China's mid-year shopping festival. Sehun's facial mask in particular sold over 20,000 in 9 minutes after going on sale. Sehun attended Louis Vuitton's fashion shows in Paris in 2017 and 2018, he was chosen as best dressed man both years. Vogue Korea chose Sehun as only the second Korean male idol ever behind G-Dragon to cover their 22nd anniversary magazine. It is still the best selling issue since Vogue Korea's inception in 1996. In 2021, Sehun became the first male global ambassador for Dior. In all areas of the arts, the members of EXO continue to be a force to be reckoned with. EXO's overall excellence in musicality is what helped set them apart back in 2012. A space-themed concept, while not groundbreaking in and of itself, the way that EXO went about it was. Firstly, these men are not pretending to be aliens in strange outfits or going so super futuristic you can't even recognize them. EXO combined cinematic elements with gigantic drums and larger-than-life melodies, not typically seen by your average pop music fan in the early 2010s. The focus was on EXO's performance abilities, creating an impressively high standard for themselves that they managed to continue exceeding in the years comebacks, and member changes that followed. Awe-inspiring vocal ranges, diversity between chant-like and hard-hitting raps, combined with K-pop's magical pop melodies, put EXO quickly on the map. Frequently combining pop, hip-hop, R&B, 
EDM, house, rap, trap, and more together and backing those songs up with high octane performances on or off the stage made it really easy to understand why EXO kept gaining more fans. Their synchronicity was and still is very signature EXO and SM Entertainment by extension. The fact that any member could give you a heartfelt ballad or deliver a catchy hook you won't soon forget is another reason EXO's musicality made them stand out. EXO debuted on the cusp of Gen 2 and Gen 3 K-pop, even though they are considered by many to be officially Gen 3. That cusp line is important to remember though, because what separates Gen 2 and Gen 3 is K-pop's global expansion. 2012 is practically the dividing line between the two generations, because by the end of that year, Psy was a household name. People suddenly wanted to know more about K-pop, and because they were fortunate enough to debut in 2012, before there was BTS, there was EXO. EXO is the first Korean artist who debuted in the 21st century to surpass 10 million cumulative album sales in South Korea. Unlike other national titles in Korea which typically come from fans, EXO is known as the nation's pick because the president of Korea literally picked them as the face of Korean tourism in 2018 with the Ministry of Culture and Tourism. Baekhyun even told Morning and News that EXO felt grateful and a greater sense of responsibility because of that national title. That same year, EXO exceeded the social reach of artists like Beyonce, Taylor Swift, and Justin Bieber with over 24 million mentions on Twitter alone, putting K-pop even more at the front of the changing global music industry. Forbes named EXO as the number one most powerful celebrities in 2015 and 2016, put them in the top five in 2014, 2017, and 2018, they were still in the top 10 as of 2019. Financially, EXO directly contributed to SM's financial success. In the fourth quarter of 2018, SM saw the largest profit gain for any entertainment agency in South Korea at that time with $13.4 million in profits. EXO themselves generated 31% of SM's total revenue that year, reaching 188 million US dollars, the most out of any SM artist at that time. BTS and Blackpink are very much responsible for pushing K-pop's global expansion into new territories and households, as I've discussed in previous deep dives, but they didn't do it alone. EXO was right there in the throes of Gen 3, with XOLs putting their name on the map and fighting for K-pop to become more recognized by the world outside of Korea. Korea is now the sixth largest music market in the world and continues to grow. EXO did not become sextuple million sellers, sell out multiple tours in under two seconds, and keep those fan cams rolling on Twitter just to be forgotten by the history books. EXO crash landed on Earth to demand the attention of millions and they've yet to fail that mission even 10 plus years into their career, when they are still breaking records individually and as a group. They are an intrinsic essential group to K-pop, the Korean economy, and the how you wave. So in case you were still wondering, that's who EXO really is.